Hi there. So today I wanted to talk to you about probably one of the most important things if your manifestation efforts are not working. And this doesn't just apply to real estate. I coach real estate agents, so you know, I kind of do all this stuff. But a lot of times people will think, oh, you're a real estate coach. So are you gonna like tell me how to call a bunch of people and you know, scripts and all that? No. I mean, I can help you with that. That's definitely things that we include in our in our online library. But the purpose, the reason for the weekly coaching calls, the reason for the intention sessions, the reason for the the uh, the work we do with EFT, all of it is really, really centered around this one thing. And that is, that is clearing out the resistance that we all have and getting your central nervous system, particularly your sympathetic nervous system because your central nervous system is probably dysregulated and I say that if you are a human being walking along planet earth I don't think that you are exempt from it but especially if you are in sales dog eat dog I mean right that's a terrible saying I would hate to see a dog eat a dog but at the end of the day we know that that just indicates that sales can be very stressful and real estate is big ticket items. So it can be really stressful. Do I have other clients that aren't in real estate? Yes. Do I love working with real estate agents most? Yes. Why? Because I have been one, I've been in the industry 30 years. So I get the stress. I get the sleepless nights because is this deal going to close? Is this seller going to list with me? I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I also get that it's that stress, it's that anxiety, it's that fear, it's that dread of rejection. All of those negative feelings are a very low vibration. And when we are emitting a very low vibration, what happens is we attract that the vibration that we are is a, it's filling our field up with that quality of energy. So if I'm feeling the stress and the anger and the upsetness and whatever it is, it's radiating out. It's literally, in radionics we call it broadcasting, and it's literally doing that. It's broadcasting that energy, that quality of energy all over the place. And the field of energy that emanates from my body and my soul is a magnet. And so what's going to happen is that same quality of energy, of experience, is going to come back at me and that is no way no way to run your life or to run your business because listen if you are sitting up all night long stressed out about a deal falling through or you know whatever's going on in your life and you're putting that out there the same kinds of these things are going to keep hitting you from all over the place and it's a fact think about it i mean where do you think the saying when it rains it pours comes from it's because whatever energy that we're putting out there, we're getting back and we're getting it back in bucket loads. And I'll tell you what, the stronger the emotion for good or bad, the stronger the emotion, the faster and furious it's going to be. So it's great. If it rains, it pours is great. If you're super excited and you're grateful and you're happy and you're joyful and you're just like full of life and just, gosh, you got so many great things going on. That's good because when it rains, it pours means you're going to meet new people have new experiences new opportunities new gifts new just everything beautiful but we also know that when we are stuck in that and our nervous system is way out of whack and we can't calm down to save our life which it really does we're going to attract a bunch of crap stuff that we do not want problems just get worse they multiply when it rains it pours right so it's very, very important for you to understand that when you go to a real estate coach, if that's me, you're not coming to me for how many, how many flyers should I put out? I mean, I can talk about that stuff all day long. And like I said, in our online library, we have that, we have all that stuff. We talk about marketing. It's, you know, it's part of our, our weekly coaching calls. Let's talk about marketing. What are we going to do? How are you going to attract your clients? We do that. For sure. But I am here to tell you that I don't care how good the lead generation system that you have. I don't care if you pay $1,000 a month for a lead generation system, $2,000 a month 
I, I talked to an agent the other day who spent twenty four hundred for Zillow every month. And she was not closing nearly what you would expect. Like, not at all. Broke my heart. Broke my heart. Um, and I'm not criticizing any company. Well, I'm kind of criticizing Zillow. But I'm not criticizing anybody for taking measures like that to help improve your business. I mean, leads have to come from somewhere. But I'm telling you, I'm guaranteeing you that leads do not come from Zillow or Realtor.com or your website or your Facebook ads, or your open houses. They come from you and your energy. That's all. That's it. Now, does that mean that you just sit on your laurels and have this really good energy and put out all these good vibrations and people just start pounding your door down saying, come list my house, come list my house. By the way, that has happened to me once. Someone frantically knocked on my door. Are you the agent in the, in the neighborhood? Someone said there was an agent in the neighborhood. My mom passed away. Can you list the house? We're only here for a week. I'm like, what? I sit there and tell people this doesn't happen and it's happening. It's very rare. It's only happened to me once. The point is you got to combine the two. And that's why magnetic marketing is magnetic marketing because the main purpose is to get you to be a magnet for the abundance, the clients, the, the success that you want. But we also know the universe wants us to meet it halfway. So we've got to take action, but it's got to be inspired action. This is another facet, right? When you say, oh my gosh, I don't have any escrows right now. I need to do something quickly. And then you frantically get online and order, you know, a thousand postcards. And that's not going to make you magnetic because it's coming from a place of stress and fear and worry. And what does that quality of energy bring you? Nothing or nothing good, right? So when we're working on our, our magnetic aptitude, if you will, while we're working on that, we're getting inspired action. Like what feels right? What would be fun? What do I want to do? This business should not be, oh, I got to do that if I want to have clients. Do you see how you're already out the gate starting on a bad foot? I got to do that if I want to get clients. No. What is fun? What do you enjoy? Do things you enjoy. Do marketing that you enjoy. So now you've got yourself as a, your excellent marketing magnetic aptitude. So you're, you know, you're, you're being a vibrational frequency uh, that is energetic in nature to the abundance that you want to experience. So you're like, you got that going on. You're like, yes. And then you get the insight. Oh, I'd really like to throw a client appreciation party, or I think I'll do an open house next weekend, whatever it is. Now that's coming from a good space. And then you take that action. And then that action, whether or not you reap immediate results of that action, the energetic trajectory has started and you will get clients. Here's what you can't do. You can't go hold an open house, call me and say, I've been being a magnet and I held an open house and nobody came. Because the minute you do that, you stop being a magnet and you push it away. And it could have been a listing that was like five minutes away. I'm telling you, this is how this works. You get yourself in the right space mentally and emotionally. And all energy is, if you're new to the whole idea of frequency and vibration, don't let it scare you. I mean, I really come from a science-based background, but everyone understands vibration and frequency. And I, I understand it from the quantum physics and from the neuroscience. You know, our brains, frequencies and uh, vibrations. That's how we hear. That's how we see. So it's not woo woo. We actually hear, see, feel, smell. Everything is vibrational. Pretty interesting, right? So when you get yourself in that space, that good vibration space, and then with a good attitude, a heart of service, super important. And then you do your thing. Maybe it's do videos. Maybe you're just sitting there doing really educational posts on Facebook. Maybe you're making new friends. Maybe you're going and joining a local softball team. Whatever it is that you like that feels good to you, that you you feel called to do, you know, when we get all the, the resistance out of our system and we stop being so reactive to all the things going on on a daily basis, that's when we start to get tips from that inner voice. That's when we start to download the good stuff. And that's what I want for you. I want you to download the good stuff that tells you this is, this is good to do. This will be fun. Not forced, but fun. Do you get that? Not forced, but fun. And then you start doing these things. 
And when you're done doing them, you don't turn around and go, what if that's going to work? I hope it works. What if it doesn't work? Oh, it's not going to work. How's it going to work? Mm -mm. You did not complete the circle. Do you get that? Magnetic marketing. Magnetic marketing. There is not called magnetic marketing worry. It's not called magnetic marketing freak out. Check in. Wonder. Figure it out. Mm -mm. Magnetic marketing. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Okay. So hopefully you found this helpful. It just, I had to, I had to come on and say this because I see so many people, so many agents that, that think that it's the latest, greatest, newest craze in lead generation. And it's, I, I'm fine with it. I've spent thousands of dollars on lead generation. Nothing has ever worked as well until and unless I applied the magnetic aspect to it. Never did. Never did. And if you don't know me and you haven't heard any of my background, I'm not going to bore you with it right now. But suffice it to say that it's when I stopped paying for leads and all this other stuff. And I just said, let me be of service. And I, I focused only on my own vibration and being of service, which is what I call marketing. That's all I did. And it was like easy breezy. Okay, so if this interests you at all and you want to get in on a on a really ridiculously super cheap low price for a one month trial of the program to see how we roll to see what you think, you got the opportunity. Okay, just just for this month, I'm going to be offering that. So if you want to know more about it, click on a link below. If this is in the Facebook group that you're watching this, just shoot me a DM. This is like the absolute lowest pressure, non-sales thing you will ever see. I never, ever, ever, ever try to put someone in my program if they're not saying, here's my credit card. Honestly, that's how I roll. Um, so I hope this has been useful to you. And no matter what, I hope you take these words and really, really um, incorporate them into your business. And I promise it will make your business better. Okay. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.